I just got real. <laughs> so we have managed to get ourselves stuck for real this time. Uh, it's not terrible, it's definitely manageable, but we're gonna use this opportunity to show you how to properly use your Max Tracks. It's pretty basic. We do have a slight downhill to our driver's side, so we wanna be careful of that. We'll go get our Max Tracks off and show you how to do this. I'm here to talk about Overland, from how-tos, advice, gear, vehicle builds, and everything in between. So one thing you do know about the Max Tracks is this is a traction board. These teeth grip really well for you. Another great thing about this though, it's also a shovel. So you can turn this over and scoop out anything you need to, be it mud, sand, or snow. When you go to place your Max Tracks under your tire, you want to make sure you can get a good purchase between the tire and the Max Tracks. So, a good way to do that, kind of put it down at an angle, really put your weight into it, push it in there, and then go ahead and give it a kick or two. And that'll really force that thing under there. The best way to get traction on your Max Tracks when you first start is to use some throttle brake modulation. So what you want to do is press on your brake, gently push into your throttle, and that's going to load up essentially your torque and your wheels. Then you just easily let off that brake and it'll crawl onto the max tracks. And then from there you can accelerate and make distance out of your stuck place. That's how easy Max Tracks really make getting unstuck. Just keep in mind you want to ease up onto them first and then accelerate off and make sure that you keep on the gas to get out of that area. And you just go back, collect them, and put them back on your rig and take off. So as you can see, Max Tracks really are that easy. Leave your comments and questions below and stay tuned for our next episode.